local woman searching for answers after she was left homeless following two fires at her apartment complex in a span of two days. Simone Jameson joins us live from that complex with a closer look at that issue. Yeah, that's right, Trisha. I spoke with Vilma Descent, who lost her home after fires tore through the Coogler Pines condo complex behind me two days in a row this week. Fire officials tell us that an electrical company is to blame for one of those fires, and now Descent says she wants to see someone held accountable. It has been awful. I mean, it was, it was awful. It was awful, the whole thing. Vilma Descent tells us she's at a loss for words after a fire on Tuesday and another fire on Wednesday destroyed her condo here at the Coogler Pines condo complex in Sycamore Township. According to the Sycamore Township fire chief, the Tuesday fire started after an electrical company accidentally charged up their own wires, resulting in the blaze. They don't know how much emotional drama they caused to me and my daughter. Why was the second fire? I, I just don't have an explanation. I don't know who's guilty. I mean, who took the, the responsibility. I don't know who agreed with that. We reached out to representatives with Duke Energy in regards to Tuesday's fire. They provided Fox 19 now with a statement Thursday. It reads Duke Energy was asked to de-energize its equipment Tuesday so some electrical work could be done by the complex. Crews later responded to the location after a fire call to ensure the area was safe for first responders, which is normal in these types of incidents. We will continue to assist local officials during their investigation of this matter. Sycamore fire officials say the cause of the second fire remains under investigation, but tell us an estimated $2 million worth of damage was caused between the two incidents. The thing is that right now I don't have a place where to stay. You know, it like, looks like nobody cares. Descent says the property managers reassured her that her condo would be rebuilt. But dissent says the grief and anguish she feels over losing everything she owned overshadows any sliver of hope that her family will be able to recover. It looks like I'm going to need to pay my mortgage. I'm going to keep paying mortgage with that, you know, without home. For just too much. Descent says she lost nearly everything her family cherished, including her three beloved cats, who she says were emotional support animals for her and her daughter, recovering from leukemia. Definitely should, it could be prevented. People need to be accountable. A home has been destroyed. A home, you know, you know what is a home you build it with love and it, it slow. I don't know now where to go. I don't, I don't know where to go. Now, the set tells me she had lived here at the Coogler Pines condos for four and a half years before this happened and that now she wants justice. I also reached out to property management as well as two electrical companies who provide on-site work here at this complex for a comment, but have not gotten a response just yet. We're live in Sycamore Township. Simone Jameson, Fox 19 Now.